Hi, it's Nick Toth and welcome to Q&A with the Lean Body Coach. Today's question comes from Kelly and Kelly says, Hi Nick, I'm a 51 year old menopausal female who trains for endurance. I usually run about 60 to 80 k's per week and do a 90 minute session of Bikram Yoga every Friday. I'm a vegetarian waiting for your new program to come out and I have what I believe balanced diet. I do occasionally indulge and do eat carbs such as rice but very rarely pasta. My question is how do I battle the hormone budge that is wrapping itself around my belly? I'm carrying so much belly fat and I'm not concerned about my health. Nothing seems to budge unless I detox radically or remove all alcohol, carbs and don't eat much dairy, only yogurt. Trying to have a balanced lifestyle and diet I enjoy. Is there anything you can suggest? Of course, Kelly. Wow, so your case is quite complex from what it seems. Now, I understand that you do train for endurance, but the first thing that rings a bell for me is cortisol. So cortisol is a stress hormone that our body produces when it's under a lot of stress. And cortisol tends to make us put more body fat or accumulate more body fat, especially around the midsection. So if you're quite fit, it seems like you're doing a lot of exercise, but to me it seems like you're actually doing too much, which is actually counterproductive in this case. So what I recommend to clients like you, um, clients I work with 101 in my Lean Body Accelerator program, is that they actually cut cardio altogether on the, until they bring their bodies back into balance. Now I know that for someone who trains as an endurance athlete, it sounds like impossible. But if you want to get your body right and if you want to reduce that belly fat, then you have to make some sacrifices. What I would recommend is to minimize your cardio training and just to invest in low intensity weight training or um, resistance training. That can be body weight training or training with weights at the gym, but it's got to be low intensity for you. So even though you're working up a sweat, it's still low intensity for your body, so you're not producing as much cortisol hormones. Also, another strategy I wanted to um, I wanted to talk to you about is caffeine intake. So I'm not sure if you're having any coffee, but coffee again is also very commonly um, you know increases cortisol levels and stress levels and anxiety. So by reducing caffeine intake, you can significantly reduce the amount of cortisol and stress hormones your body produces. Another thing I wanted to, I, I thought about was um, um, blood sugar balance. So if you're accumulating fat around the midsection in the, in the abdominal area, then have a look at blood sugar levels and insulin production. Because if you are having a lot of carbohydrates or you don't have to just have a lot of carbohydrates, but if your insulin levels are quite high, then your body is constantly going to be in fat, fat storage mode because insulin is a storage hormone. So keeping your body and your insulin levels and your blood sugar levels balanced by having protein with every single meal. And I know that you're a vegetarian, so my next thing I was going to bring up is vegetarian diets, although they can be very healthy, unfortunately they tend to be high in carbohydrates and low in protein. So you really got to make sure you're increasing your protein intake from lean sources and reducing your carbohydrate intake where possible if you're wanting to burn more fat. Now, my new Lean Body Formula program has a vegetarian version now, and that program has been specifically calculated so that your macronutrients, your protein, carbohydrates, and fat are in certain balance that will allow you to actually tap into your fat source and start to burn some body fat. Because I know that it's so, ta so challenging, especially for those who follow a vegetarian diet. So have a look at those tips, um, see how you go, and let me know in the comments if you achieved some really good results with that. You can also grab a free sample of my Lean Body Formula at theleanbodyformula.com. See you next time.